Here's a boring title or a boring logo. Now here's what they look like with some motion graphics. Much better. Hey everyone, this is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. If you want to create work that'll stand out, all you need to do is drop a like on this video. But really, just by following the tips in this After Effects tutorial, you're really going to impress some people. And remember, you can also download our project files for free. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create our grid of dots. Everything in this tutorial is going to be grid based, so we need to get that set up first. Start by going up to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, make sure the solid is highlighted, then go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise, Effect, Simulation, CC Ball Action, Effect, Time, Posterize Time, and Effect, Color Correction, Curves. In the Effect Controls panel for Fractal Noise, enable Invert, set Contrast to 600, Brightness to negative 60, then I'll click the stopwatch for evolution and type time asterisk 500 in the expression control. For CC ball action, set the grid spacing to 50, ball size to 4, set the frame rate of posterized time to 8, which is one third of our composition's frame rate, then bring the RGB curve all the way to the top left corner, and lastly, set the mode of this solid layer to screen. Next, we want to add another layer of larger dots, so start by duplicating the first solid with Ctrl D, then we'll rename the first layer to small dots and this layer to large dots. Now highlight the large dots layer, set the brightness of the fractal noise to negative 150, open evolution options, set the random seed to anything other than zero, and set the ball size to eight. Lastly, we want to keep the dots from going behind our main title, so select the Rectangle tool, make sure Fill is set to Solid Color, and set the color to be the same as your background. Now make sure Stroke is set to None, then click and drag to make a rectangle the same size as your title layer, and put it underneath of it on the layer list. Now we have two grids of different sized dots randomly appearing around our composition. Next, we're going to create some different shape layers to flicker around our composition, similar to the dots that we just made. We'll start by making a small square, so select the rectangle tool. We'll set the color to a dark yellow, then zoom in on one of the dots on the composition and create a small square right on top of it. Since we set the posterized time of our dots to be one third of our frame rate, dots animate every three frames. So what we want to do is move forward 3 frames on the timeline, then split our square layer by going to Edit, Split Layer, or by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Next, take the square that was split off and move it over a different dot on the composition. Move forward 3 more frames, split the layer again, and move the square onto a different dot again. Repeat this process until you've reached about 1 second on the timeline. Then highlight all of the squares, right click them, select pre-compose, we'll name the pre-comp squares, then click OK. Open the squares pre-comp, go to composition, composition settings, and set the duration of the pre-comp to be one second long. Back out of the pre-comp, right click it, then go to time, enable time remapping. Alt click the stopwatch for time remap, and type in loop out with a capital O, open parentheses, close parentheses. Now the layer is going to continuously loop for the whole duration of the composition. Next, what I'm going to do is repeat this exact same process we just did for the squares, but with some different shapes. This is where you can get creative. Add whatever shapes or icons you want, arrange them however you want, and make your composition unique. Once you have a few shape sequences created, what you can do to add even more variety is duplicate one of the pre-comps and adjust its position, making sure at least one of the shapes lines up with the dot grid in the background. This adds more shapes and more variety in the positions that they appear in. Lastly, we're going to add a border around our composition to make everything look more uniform. Select the Rectangle tool, make sure Fill is set to None, Stroke is set to Solid Color, set the color to be the same as the background, and then set the Stroke Width to 200. Now double click the rectangle tool, which will create a rectangle the exact same size as our composition, so that we have a big border around it. You can see this if I adjust the color. 
Make sure this border layer is above all of the shape layers, that way it covers up all of the shapes around the border of your composition. Now you should have this nice array of shapes and dots flickering around your composition like this. If you like the graphic featured in this video, be sure to check out our brand new Editor's Motion Pack. It features over 300 motion elements to help enhance your editing projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use extension, all you need to do is find a graphic you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can use our simple control layers to customize the graphic to fit your needs. And just like that, you have an awesome custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description below or visit sondukfilm.com for more details. The final thing we're going to add are some lines that will connect between the dots in our background and flicker just like our shapes. This process is very similar to making the shapes. Start by selecting the Pen tool, make sure Fill is set to None, Stroke is set to Solid Color, make sure that the color is the same as your dots, and then set the stroke width to 1. Now zoom in and find two dots on the composition, click the center of one dot, hold Shift, and click the center of another to create a straight line between them. Click on the shape layer we created to start a new line, find two other dots, create another straight line between them, Repeat this process a few more times until you have a nice group of lines. Next, set the duration of the shape layer to be 3 frames long just like our other shapes. Deselect the shape layer, and then make a new line to create a new shape layer. Repeat this process of making shape layers of lines and setting their duration to be 3 seconds long until you reach the end of your timeline. We do not want to pre-compose and create a loop with our lines like we did with the shapes, because the position of the dots is random. If we loop the lines, then the lines will appear in places where there's no dots, so we have to put custom lines in for the whole composition. And once you're done, you should have this awesome composition filled with flickering shapes and lines to enhance your projects in After Effects. Fun fact, we actually record this portion of the tutorial before we even know how the final product comes out. So we actually have no idea if this tutorial is any good or not. How about you let us know in the comments below? If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. Also, check out our Instagram for awesome tips for creators, and remember, always be creating.